What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today is another discussion video explaining why you're losing to this thing on the ladder. Uh, we've done Golden Go, we've done Meowscarada, and now we're going to talk about one of the most surprising developments of Generation 9. Uh, typically when you see things in Generation 9, uh, or like in any other Pokemon generation that are like early route Pokemon, we're talking like Zigzagoon, we're talking like throwaway Pokemon like Komala, or just those like random normal types, you don't expect them to be competitively viable. Mousehold just takes that rule, breaks it in half, and then feeds it to its many children because it is an insane Pokemon in competitive right now. And we see it actually like not only top cutting events, but like being on like a wide variety of teams. If you scroll through the results of any tournament, you're bound to see a few Mouseholds, whether it be three or four, the same Pokemon basically. Um, but yeah, just like even if we scroll through like the Welcome to Balta uh, Paldea tournament, while it was one of the earlier tournaments before the metagame seriously developed, we still see heavy uh, heavy mousehold usage. Uh, so yeah, we're going to explain why mousehold is very strong uh, and, and strangely good in the competitive scene uh, and why you're probably losing it to right now. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this and they have time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day. What do you think about Mousehold? Do you hate it? Do you love it? I find it very difficult not to love Mousehold despite how terrifying it is. I think Mousehold is actually the single scariest Pokemon in VGC right now. And that's probably gonna be in the title, why Mousehold's the scariest Pokemon in VGC. But well, let's just go ahead and get into it. So as I start off all these videos, what is Mousehold? How is Mousehold? Why is Mousehold? Mousehold is a pure normal type and its stats don't look like anything special. In fact, if we look at like Cinchino or Chinchino, however you pronounce it, um, it's kind of similar. 115 speed, 75 HP, 95 attack, 60 in all the defenses. Uh, and then Mousehold, has 74 HP, 75 attack, 111 speed, and like 70 defenses. So while Mousehold is a little bit bulkier, uh, it doesn't hit as hard and it's slower. But Chinchino, despite having skill link and being able to hit something with a five uh, a five uh, hit tail slap, um, no, no, Mousehold has that on like just insane performance enhancing stuff that I can't see on YouTube. Uh, Mousehold is a pure normal type with access to a move called Population Bomb. It's 20 power and hits 10 times, up to 10 times. Each hit has the possibility of missing. Uh, and because it's an accuracy check, many people actually opt to run Wide Lens to make sure that the accuracy, rather than being 90, uh, is now 99. So effectively 100, and you have like a little minuscule chance of not getting all 10 hits. But I think the reason Mousehold's so terrifying is because you have that little bit of hope. You're like, maybe they'll just get like eight hits. Maybe they'll just get like seven hits. They never do. They get all of them. So yeah, Mousehold's terrifying. Um, but the thing is, the way I like to describe Mousehold is it plays a lot like Eviolite Clefairy uh, in previous generations with the ability uh, Friend Guard to lower damage as well as redirection like Follow Me and a bunch of support moves like Icy Wind. Um, but instead of Clefairy holding the Eviolite, it's like it held a shotgun. Mousehold is insane burst damage. It is an insane burst damage Pokemon with access to the same support moves as Clefairy. So what differs them is while Clefairy you don't care about offensively, and it's a lot bulkier, Mousehold is a support Pokemon where you have to respect both options. In any given situation, it can be a super super annoying support pokemon with access to a lot of moves like thunder wave charm follow me encore or you could also respect the fact that it could just bypass that all together in one shot i am not joking garchomp you don't even you don't even have to max out the attack technician population bomb if it hits all 10 times will one shot four defense garchomp by the way it has technician so population bomb is not 20 base power and hits <laughs> and hits 10 times it is 30 base power and hits 10 times scratch that it has stab so actually if we account for the fact that mouse hold gets a 50 percent boost on normal moves because it is a normal type 20 goes to 30 because a technician and then another 1.5 times 30 times 1.5 is 45 times 10 450 base power move stronger than explosion absolutely terrifying uh so why, you know, all that aside, why is Mousehold good? For one, the speed tier makes up for the fact 
uh, that it, like it has to like it, it's not bulky. Like you're fast enough where you're outspeeding stuff like Garchomp. Um, you're not gonna always outspeed Meowth You have to have like some kind of speed control to do that. Uh, but yeah, the, the fact remains like if you outspeed something, there's a good chance it goes down. Um, some common partners that you actually see next to it are stuff that is just generally good. Golden Go, Annihilate, Hydreigon, uh, Garchomp on occasion. Uh, so why do they benefit from this? Well, like I said, Mousehold is a support Pokemon with access to follow me uh, that also has the possibility of just dishing out damage. So let's say you're using a Golden Go with like Nasty Plot. Golden Go with Nasty Plot or like Choice Specs or whatever um, has to worry about fire types uh, that could like hit it with like, uh, I don't know, let's say like Armor Cannon, Armor Rouge is a thing that Golden Go doesn't want to have to deal with. Mousehold can either A, follow me, and then let the Golden go like Shadow Ball into Armor Rouge or like Nasty Plot and then Shadow Ball. Uh, or you could do the other option where Golden Go protects and the Mouse Hold just annihilates the, uh, the, the Armor Rouge. That is an option. Another Pokemon that's quite good, uh, Annihilate. Speaking of Annihilate, uh, Annihilate has this move called Rage Fist where let's say you're using like a Mouse Hold and instead of running Technician, you're running like a Friend Guard set. Uh, friend Guard, while not boosting the power of Population Bomb to absurd levels, uh, will reduce the damage that your partners take uh, by three-fourths. So it makes Annihilate uh, a lot more bulky in that sense, uh, allowing Rage Fist, which increases by 50 power every time it's hit, to be more effective. And you could even do like a side beat-up set where, or even like Population Bomb. Let's, I've seen like Terra Steel Annihilate to resist the Population Bomb. Uh, and then you like side beat up uh, without technician to minimize the damage a little bit versus it. And then you maximize the rage fist damage, which I believe the cap is like 250 or 300, basically making it as strong as a population bomb. It is a very scary combination that once again, you have to respect the fact that Annihilate not only can be set up into with the mouse hold, but also it could just follow me and the Annihilate goes for bulk up and then like sweeps you with close combat. That is a scary thing. Uh, and also Garchomp or like Hydreigon or any of these like dragon types are also very good because uh, they don't have to deal with like ice moves, fairy moves, that sort of thing. Uh, but I guess Hydreigon especially is quite nice because um, Mousehold is able to do like follow me while Hydreigon goes for like Tailwind or even like a Nasty Plot or just like picks up a KO. It is basically the most offensive and threatening support Pokemon we have ever had in this game. And that is very scary. So... What, what, like, how, I guess, I don't know, I could, I could go two routes. I could talk about how you beat it, or maybe talk about why it's still scary. Uh, we're gonna talk about why it's still scary for a couple more minutes. So, I have a couple of notes here. Uh, it one-shots basically anything that isn't explicitly given bulk to survive the hit. So, you know, like, this Garchomp calc, let's just max out the attack. So, 252 attack mouse hold, look here if you want to see the actual, like, KO, uh, is going to one-shot Garchomp. Let's say you're using, like, an Indeedy female that is max defense, uh, max HP, uh, bold nature. So it's like about as bulky as an Ndidi can be. Population Bomb is still a guaranteed one hit KO versus this variant of Ndidi because while it is given the bulk to likely survive the hit, um, given that like there's like a roll in some cases or like even the chance that it doesn't hit everything, while it's meant to take physical hits, Ndidi isn't capable of eating it that well. You have to run like an actual bulky Pokemon if we look through what's common. Uh, Golden Go can deal with uh, Mousehold because for one, it's a ghost type, uh, but also it's just like a generally bulky Pokemon. I would say Arcanine is actually one of the better Pokemon to actually like deal with Mousehold because not only is Arcanine gonna get that bulk from the Intimidate, making it so Population Bomb is actually a roll to KO without any investment off of Technician Jolly. But if you just like max out that HP or actually go 244 because they like to run like Citrus Berry at times, uh, now it's no longer KOing. Speaking of Citrus Berry, I guess since we're transitioning into ways that you can beat it, actually let's not do that yet because I forgot to mention, uh, Mousehold has access to the ability to Terra. So let's say you're using an especially defensive Pokemon. Let's go with plus two Don Dozo. Let's say that your max HP, and they don't usually run like a lot of defense. Let's say it's like four defense, because they don't need that. And you're plus two defense. Well, your population bombs, a guaranteed three hit KO versus Don Dozo. You know, not, not that great versus Don Dozo, considering the recovery. But let's say they terrestrialize for Terra Normal, giving them adaptability, another multiplier on their population bomb. That is now a very high chance 
to two hit KO a Don Dozo at plus two defense. Granted, the Don Dozo has a good chance of just KOing you back uh, before you can attack. But let's say you have like an Indeedy and like a and a in a uh, mouse hold, you can just follow me in Population Bomb twice and then they just go down. It is such a scary Pokemon to deal with. There are very few Pokemon that can like actually really, really deal with it. So like the reason it's that good is because you have to commit to KOing this thing. You can't like take half measures. You will lose a Pokemon. Yeah, it is just that scary. So let's talk about beating it. Once again, like the Arcanine was a good example of how you actually do beat mouse hold. Um, but other ways that you can beat it is Pokemon holding pinch berries are actually a lot more effective at beating mouse hold than Pokemon that run stuff like leftovers or other just general defensive items. So that same Ndidi that we were talking about earlier, uh, while they tend to run safety goggles, let's say that this Ndidi decided to run a citrus berry. Well, because Ndidi is now running a citrus berry, uh, it's actually going to have a little bit of burst damage, or actually I guess the citrus berry doesn't help Ndidi that much. Um, really, oh wait, that's still with Terrastal. There we go. Now, now we're good. Okay, so without Terrastal, that same calc as before. Now that it has the Citrus Berry, uh, what will happen is Mousehold will deal that incremental damage until Ndidi gets down to 50% health, and then at 50% health, Ndidi will eat the Citrus Berry and gain back 25% health from the Citrus Berry. I think it's 25% health. I might be stupid, right? I don't know why. I like forget them. I forget the most normal things ever and I like doubt myself yeah it's 25% health I don't know why I doubted that I know that I've been playing this game for years so yeah uh it'll get that 25% health back go up to 75% giving it just that little buffer left to deal with mouse hold that's actually a big reason that when I was using my Don Dozo I actually ran a pinch berry um like the figgy berry which activates actually not at point not at 50% health but at 25% health and gives you a uh, 33% healing. Uh, so one third of your health uh, when you get that. Normally that's a little bit difficult to get down into the range uh, to do that sort of thing. Like usually it's a little bit risky because like you can easily go from like, you're trying to hit 25% health. You can easily go from like 27 to zero and like never actually get your berry activated. But in the face of, uh, in the face of mouse hold, because it's like incremental damage uh, done over and over again, it's super easy to get into that range. So pinch berries are actually extremely effective for getting a Pokemon to survive uh, the population bomb and then just KO it back. Like that is a, another super, super useful move. Another thing that is very good against mouse hold is actually a pretty decently common Pokemon right now uh, being Garganical. Garganical is the sort of Pokemon that just simply does not care about mouse hold. Uh, and that's actually another big thing. So while setup Pokemon like Garganical have to be like fairly scared of a critical hit, whether it be from like a, a crit earthquake, which will usually one shot it or like a crit wave crash to one shot it. It's much different with population bomb because it hits 10 times. Each hit has a chance to crit, but not, but, but it doesn't matter as much, right? Because it's a crit on a 20 base power move. So if you get crit two, three times by PB, it doesn't really make a difference to iron defense, um, to like iron defense sets for Garganical. Because yeah, you, you resist the hit and you got crit a few times and it like bypassed those defense boosts. But in the grand scheme of things, it's like, yeah, you took like a little bit extra damage. It wasn't actually that much. So yeah, the setup Pokemon are actually fairly decent versus Mousehold, whether it be like iron defense Garganical with body press, um, Don Dozo with defense boosting Tatsugiri and body press or like body press uh, Corviknight, which is actually a thing I think deserves a little bit more usage, which I might talk about in the future uh, when I talk about like underrated Pokemon. But yeah, uh, another thing that Mousehold hates to deal with is while that while that Garchomp was getting KO'd by Population Bomb, I failed to mention that Rough Skin is a thing that absolutely shreds Mouseholds. So Rough Skin is an ability that makes uh, contact moves deal damage to the person that hit it. So if this Pokemon hits Garchomp, it takes one eighth of their HP. Mousehold is going to hit Garchomp 10 times. So one tenth or one eighth times 10 is uh, is 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 well over 100 percent, well over 100 percent. So if you manage to actually get like low rolls on the population bomb, you actually might survive the hit from the Mousehold and then the Mousehold will just go down because it decided to hit that. Uh, Rocky Helmet is another option. A lot of Pokemon are capable of running Rocky Helmet. However, that's a little bit less effective because rather than one eighth, oh no, it's more effective, my bad. Uh, rather than one eighth, it's one sixth. So it's actually a lot easier to do that sort of thing. So let's say you ran like an Amoongus 
and you wanted to like deal with mouse hold, you could actually run Rocky Helmet Amoongus with Follow Me, or not Follow Me, Rage Powder. And if you run it, sorry, my light went out. If you run it with that set uh, versus a mouse hold, and you just want to protect a Pokemon from mouse hold, you can actually hold on to both Pokemon by uh, Rage Powdering, uh, defensing heavily into your defenses, or EVing heavily into your defenses to live the, the hit. Uh, and then the mouse hold goes down after six uh, attacks. And then you just switch out, get Regenerator, and you're like good to go. So Amoongus is actually like one of the better ways of, of dealing with mouse hold. So yeah, uh, that's a, there's, a, there's a lot of ways to beat mouse hold, whether it be those defensive measures or honestly, simply outspeeding it and KOing it with like a Tailwind Pokemon and like an attacker, because they don't usually run Focus Sash. They, run, they want to run Wide Lens, uh, but yeah. Uh, like they, they, there are ways to beat it, even if it's running like a more supportive set because it has access to like fake tears, uh, thunder wave, it wouldn't run chilling water, but like faint, all these different support moves, they mean nothing without this one move carrying this Pokemon on its back, but you can beat it and I just gave you the tools to do it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed or learned anything new, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. Uh, and yeah, comment what you think about mouse hold. I love it, but I have like a love hate relationship with it. I find it very scary, but I like, I like them. They are they are just they are just the cutest guys ever. So I can't stay mad at them too long. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.